no flying video for you today. Uh, the weather is terrible, so I'm going to do an antenna upgrade for my Fly Sky. I got these Bing Fu antennas for about £10 off Amazon. Uh, professional quality, reliable, and innovative. Ooh. In the package, you get two 7 inch antennas with the pigtails included. Uh, we've got SMA, RPSMA2, the UFL connector. These are 20 centimeters. They might be a bit too long, but I'd rather they were too long than too short. So we're gonna give this a try and hopefully not destroy my transmitter. This is the Flysky FSI6. Uh, it was a six channel uh, transmitter, but I did modify it to get 10 channels. You'd need a cable, a USB cable to go at the back here, and you can actually modify this to run 10 channels. It's pretty easy to take apart. You've only got these four screws. When you've got the four screws removed, there's just two plugs you need to pull out of the, the main board itself. It's quite simple. Uh, you don't need this piece at all um, until you're putting it back together, so just put that to the side. Here's the original antenna. We've got one in there and one here as well. Quite simple to remove the old UFLs. Just need to put a small screwdriver underneath and kind of pop it off. I'm going to keep the old antennas because you never know when they're going to come in handy. I did put the antenna holder back in because I don't want a hole left in the top of the transmitter. So next I just need to find out where I'm going to put these new antenna. Best place probably going to be up here. So just drill a couple of holes, one at each side. Six and a half mil drill bit just to drill these two holes. Just be very careful of these switches underneath and the SMA should just fit in there nicely. Got the SMAs in and I've routed the wire, the pigtail through and underneath these cables to try and keep it in place and it looks like the 20 centimeter ones are just perfect. They just reach and no more. You don't have to tighten these too much, just make sure they're tight enough to not move when you actually put the antenna on. Push the pigtail cables back as well to try and keep them out of the road of the switches and the gimbals as well. So it all looks pretty secure. So I'm going to put the back plate back on and just make sure it still works. Got the back plate back on, now I'm going to test this, make sure it's still working. And oh, something to always remember is when you are powering on a transmitter, always make sure you've got your antenna on because you don't want to burn out the transmitter. Now we've got both antennas connected, we can power it on. Maybe not for the batteries. But you can power it on. Make sure it's still working. If we're going to display. We should see the movement in each channel. So that's working. Now I've got extended range with my new antennas, I just need a better receiver because the Fly 14 Plus that I'm using just now, I believe 500 meters is the max. If any of you guys know any receiver, long range receiver that runs on the AFHDS2A protocol, leave it in the comments for me below, that'd be brilliant, um, it'd help me out. And that is the video for today, thanks for watching, hopefully we get some flights soon, we can test these out.